people who are willing to debate on ideas. But people have judged him. I mean, he's not perfect. And he'll be the first to tell you that. But he's somebody who constantly learns and, and improves on himself. And that's his greatest strength. One of his greatest strengths, I would say. To those who say they still haven't forgiven him. I, you know, I, I, they had this argument this morning before coming to the show. Mm -hmm. um, I said to somebody, one thing a lot of the people, the people that hate Sabs will tell you, oh, I'm making Jamila Taimo. But we have forgiven all the other people. Yeah that have killed, exactly. that have stolen, but Sars made a statement that he apologized for, yeah. we still haven't, we, some of us have still mm -hmm. it, it's, it's what people want to hold on to. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not making any excuses for him, because um, he has said what he has to say about that issue. Yeah. Um, and I keep telling him he's not very good at defending himself. Yeah. Um, I was there that night, and uh, this is the first time I'm saying that, and I remember when he came back from the GRTS or wherever it is where he, that statement was made, he normally doesn't talk to me. We're very good at separating our works from house. Yeah. And uh, he, he said, I'm really not happy mm -hmm. with what I had to do today. And that's where I will leave it. At. So I can tell you that from the day that that was done, he had had regrets about it. But that's his burden to carry. Um, the fact that people don't like him, it's acceptable. You cannot like everybody. And he, he knows that. He knows that he's not everybody's cup of tea. But one thing that nobody can take away from him is the love he has for this country. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, to those who say, um, I, I said this to somebody, I said I was worried about Jay and the kids because Sabs have gone through worse than this. Yeah. Remember when he was paraded to walk from um, NIA, NIA to, to, to handcuffs yeah. and he went to jail. He went through so much yeah. public ridiculing and, and you know being detained. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I said he could... He, he could take care of he could he could handle this but it's the family i remember i don't know how true is but i showered on him and uh, we pray that the outcome is positive for all of us Thank you. thank you very much, Jay. I want Amen. to thank you for making time to talk to us, even though I know what your family is going through. And we want thank to you. Uh, wish you all the best. Um, thank you. For me, I have said this publicly. Samuel is my brother from Lamin. I know the family, uh, their mom, all the sisters, the, the, his uh, army and others. Yeah. You know, I know everybody in sure, the home. Sure. He is one of us, and yeah. we are very proud of who he is. Okay. And we are also in solidarity with him, because um, if he did otherwise, we are going to say it. Thank you. When, when we have issues when we believe that he was wrong yeah. we have said it yeah we have written about it yeah. when we believe he's right we are going to say you're right mm -hmm. and i don't see any reason why anybody should be silent about this mm -hmm. because this is more than sabali mm -hmm. just like that was said yesterday this is more than sabali yeah. this is about all of us who have a voice who yeah. are saying things and it's important to put that on record and we want to wish you all the best and to wish ourselves all the sure. best as well thank because you for your family thank you and I thank appreciate you very much that. and to the rest of you um follow us for updates as to what happens in this case um, thank you very much and merry christmas once again bye bye merry christmas i'm stronger as the sole ground operator dictatorship the president adam abaro was part of those who pushed for this kind of government this open space so what happened now what has gone wrong with him that he wants to take us back to dictatorship it's not going to be allowed People will not allow it because, I mean, it doesn't help anybody, like you said. If it's him today, it will be all of us tomorrow. And that's a problem. What he said about taking over the nation has nothing to do with a coup d'etat. It doesn't make sense. And like you said, so many people have said it. People are right now on social media saying the same thing, repeating his words. Are they going to go and arrest all of them? I mean, and then just to take a short piece out of a long speech, take it out of context, and use that to charge somebody for treason in this day and age. What that does is it really trivializes the, the charge of treason or the way we practice our law in this country. Yeah. So when we have a real case of treason, you think um, citizens or even the international community will respect our decision or our claims that we, th this is a charge of treason. We are watering down our own legal systems. So this is beyond Sabali. And I wish everybody would know. And finally, my question is, a lot of people, um, 
Because I don't see um, how the treason charge could come up with mm -hmm. unless Sawali has a link with the alleged coup mm -hmm. brothers. Yeah. Do you know any of any link that he has ever had with any of those people that are being held right now? Never. I, I have never heard of their names, and um, I don't. I, I don't think he's never mentioned them. I've never heard of them. He doesn't know them. I mean, this is just a far-fetched link that some people who really don't like him are trying to make a link out of. It doesn't make sense. Mm. Well, finally, your message to the, all the Gambians who are showing solidarity to your family. Mm -hmm. Just to say thank you, and uh, this is a message, message from Sabali himself. What did he say when you told him? Did he tell you you were going to have an interview with him? <laughs> yes, he just laughed. <laughs> So he said he wished me good luck. <laughs> yeah, um, just to say a big thank you. We really appreciate all the support. All People are depending on one meal a day in the combos now. You cannot keep saying it has to do with global economy. Do something about it. These are the issues that affect subs. He talks to youths yeah. at a personal level every day. He knows their issues. Youths are frustrated. They are trying all kinds of side hustles. They are still not able to make ends meet. Those are the frustrations that are reflected in his speeches. The president should learn to listen with an open mind. And then, and then they want to see that because he is a more of a motivational speaker. He is. And I tell him, I don't know how you do this. He is everywhere speaking to young people. Mm. He has this connection, this mm. special connection with the young people. And he always say it is the mindset that he wants to change. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is a problem? Him talking to the young people all the time. And a lot of them, people like the Bubas and and others, they believe, they believe in him. It's like uh, Talibi and certain things with some of these people that he's very close to. Do you think that's the problem? That's why people see him as kind of a threat? Well, I, I don't see what's stopping them from also talking to the youth. Um, that's his passion. This is something he's studied over the years, how to motivate people. And he's, he, he's, he just has an affection for the young people. And you'll be surprised how much he learns from these young people as well. These are smart young people, dynamic young people in their own right. Mm -hmm. So it's an exchange that he loves. It's just a natural connection. I don't see what's wrong with that, that you should get to that level to charge somebody treason. Fatu. That's really wrong. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, the other thing I want to say, after all, everything that happened, did he ever sit down and said, maybe I should just leave this country, go to America or go somewhere and, and just work and make my own money? Wouldn't that be the easiest for all of us, yeah. including myself? Um, and I think at some level, maybe some of his um, detractors, that's what they want. But... That's, he's never mentioned that. He's not. That's not his intention at all. I mean, he, like you said, he's been through worse, and he has stayed. I don't see him. I don't think I can convince him. This is something that he strongly believes in, and I respect him for that. I mean, why can't we live and let others live? This is our Gambia. Nobody owns it but us. I saw a post early before I came. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, well, he always say, he can't cage me, can't cage mm -hmm. me. But today he's caged. <laughs> Do they understand the meaning of what he said when he says can't cage yeah. me? Because I take it to be... It's beyond know, the physical. It's beyond the physical, yeah. right? Yeah. What's your take on some people who are saying, oh yes, he's been caged? <laughs> well, it just shows their level of understanding, their level of thinking and their intentions for a, for him. Of course, he wouldn't want to be in that position, be detained physically, but caging him is beyond the physical for him. It's about ment his mental state, his ability to speak, which is exactly what the government is trying to do now, to stop his ability to speak. That is what he refuses. That is what he refuses. Now, I... A lot of movements are going on. People are free family movement and all this. A lot of people are so, uh, showing their solidarity. Yeah. Um, you know, he, even his biggest great people that he doesn't see eye to eye with. Mm -hmm. Some of them have releases up to two or three statements yeah. because a lot of people. And the reason why I keep saying this, and I, I said it to somebody right before I came, mm -hmm. this is not just somebody. If this works, yeah. 
All of us that have a microphone, yeah. all of us that are in speaking yeah. are going to be in trouble. Big time. Free speech is going to be in trouble. Yeah. Yes, there should be responsibility when we speak, mm -hmm. but we should not also be scared to yeah. speak. Yeah. And if that happens, to those people who think this is about Savali, what is your message? Well, it just shows how limited they are in their thinking. I don't think I have a message for those people, actually. For me, I, my message is for the government. Mother, Bakadi, how that woman was proud of him. Yeah. That is his life. Everybody knows that. That woman walks in the market. Yeah. Everything that family talks about is Avali, Avali, Avali. Because he was the star of the family. He was educated. He was poor. He would say anything. And he's a pride of, for, for us, Lamin, people from Lamin. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people believe the impact of his incarceration resulted to him the mom's sickness and eventually she died. Sometimes the reason why it's important to bring this, when you keep people, mm -hmm. it's not what Savali is going through, yeah. but it's what people are outside yeah. are going through. Yeah. And how scared are you that you know this will affect your family, especially mm -hmm. the kids? Well, um, like you said, we've been through something like this. this um, that doesn't make this time any easier. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's affecting us, um, but we try to be strong about it. We talk about it as a family. My older son, he's very good at trying to lighten the mood with us, making jokes, um, asking everybody how they're feeling. So we talk about it. We don't make it hush-hush. For the children who are able to understand, we try to explain things to them, at least I do. And, um, and we just hope it will make us stronger at the end of the day. We are not going to sit here because people have been through worse. Um, so we count our blessings every day. Um, we pray that the government will really think about what they're doing and stop immediately. When you say the government, do you think this is politically motivated? Exactly. It is. What else could it be? Fatu, really. What else could it be? I mean, this man is innocent. This man is innocent. I know that this government has tried several times to get him to their camp. He doesn't want to go. So we have seen them punish people in ways that have really made them succumb and join their camp. Sabali is not one of those people. If he wanted to go, he'll go. In the future, if he feels like that's where he wants to go, he'll go. But he strongly believes that UDP is his place. So I don't see that changing. Um, I spoke to the lawyer earlier before this, and um, he is very confident that by Tuesday they will charge him. And are you prepared for that? What are they going to charge him with? Treason. We don't know. <laughs> That's what, we don't know. We don't know. I, I cannot be prepared for that because they would be charging an innocent man of treason, of something he has no hand in. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. And this is not good for the country. People are angry. I know you've seen the political, the, the public opinion on this case. Um, it's not good. It doesn't tell well. It could be Sabali today, but if they succeed in silencing Sabali, which is what they want to do, because he's a critic of the government, then they could do it to anybody. I'm sure the president will look at this critically. If, because what I, the reason why I'm saying this, government's ratings are looked at based on this, yeah. um, how political opponents are treated. Sure. How, and today what we're seeing is all over the world. UDP campaign manager is arrested. Sure. UDP campaign, campaign manager, this yeah. and that. Yeah. And this government has made name for themselves recently yeah. when it comes to political tolerance. I mean, today we can sit here and talk about all of these things and no one is coming to us. Yeah. Us. Today you can say things on the radio and nobody is arresting mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Now, but if stuff like this are coming yeah. out, yeah. it will dampen that, you know, that zeal already that is there yeah. that the international community is watching. Yeah. And I think if I'm a politician, I'm gonna let you be and say everything. Mm -hmm. Some of these things maybe people look at them as negative people and they will give you political points. Mm -hmm. But if everybody is looking at this as a political, then that makes it bad. Yeah, but it's government. not good for the government. I don't know what they're thinking, honestly, but. This is not a smart political move. I don't know what angle they're trying to take it, but it is not. And I don't know who is advising our president, but the president needs to open his eyes. I mean, you.